All right, we got another screw attack death battle. And this is one I've been looking forward to. Um, there's other channels that did, like, you know, they talked about these two going at it, but they're very similar. They use uh, very similar weapons, the scrimmage sticks, basically. Um, Nightwing versus Daredevil. Now, I like both of them. I grew up not paying attention to Daredevil because he wore a devil outfit. I'm like, I don't want to do with him, forget him. Found out how cool his powers were and just how cool he was, period. Also, Nightwing. Love Nightwing. Um, Dick Grayson. What more can you say? So this should be good. Already watched all the stuff in the beginning explaining, you know, their abilities and stuff. They're pretty accurate. So we're going to get straight into the battle. <laughs> Suit looks good enough. I know you're there. You can leave now. You can leave now. Or I can drag you out. Or I can drag you out. Smell it. It's your choice. I'm shaking, in my, I'm shaking in my boots. Especially looking at the Prince of Darkness. But that case over there is part of an investigation I've been working. So why don't you hand it over? And I'll get out of your horns. Is that a no then? Is that a no then? I love how Daredevil always uses that boxing stance. I love that too. He was fighting without looking. <laughs> but he used that boxing stance although he don't stick to just boxing techniques. They got that from the live action Daredevil. He does that a lot. Mask got a HUD and night vision and a whole bunch of other stuff. Broke his arm. Okay. Usually, whoever's winning in the beginning or end up winning at the end sometimes. And sometimes they surprise. They start losing in the middle of the fight, then they win at the end. We haven't really seen a live action Nightwing. Not really, not yet. Oh, he thinks that's gonna help because he doesn't know Daredevil is blind. He doesn't use his eyes. But we haven't really seen a Nightwing live action. He's so tight. Daredevil on Netflix is pretty cool. Ooh! But he's still so much better in the comics. Everybody is, everybody's so much better than they are. In the comics than they are on a film and television. I you could see the look on your face. Me too. Me too. He does have those. Dick has the uh, sonic wing things. Uh-oh. Dang it. Nightwing never loses. He beat Winter Soldier. Was that live action? We can do that now? This was possibly one of our closest matchups to date, despite lacking a true superhuman physique. Both Nightwing and Daredevil were extremely skilled and deadly fighters. 
When it came to overpowering each other, they were pretty dead even. Sure, based on their previous feats, we can tell that Nightwing seemed a little stronger and more acrobatic, and Daredevil seemed a little quicker to react. But these differences were extremely minimal. It's actually feasible that these two could pull off almost all the exact same yeah. feats. Keyword being almost. Right. With such similar physical abilities, this really came down to their arsenal, Nightwing's gadgets, and Daredevil's superpowers. At first glance, these could simply counter each other, making this match completely yeah. even again. For example, both could take advantage of the dark with night vision or super senses, but only one set was perfectly suited to actively disrupt the other. Remember Nightwing's scanning mask? There's no way he couldn't notice those electro waves Daredevil's radar sense was sending everywhere. Even Mr. Magoo could have figured out something was weird here, let alone the guy trained by freaking Batman, you know, the greatest detective in the world. Through a little hand-to-hand -hand action, Nightwing was certainly clever enough to recognize Daredevil's reliance to sound over sight and had the perfect counter weapon. The ultrasonic wing dip. Look, I'm yeah. sure there were several possible scenarios where Daredevil could have pulled off the win. But more times than not, Nightwing takes this thanks to his athletic skill, detective training, and high-tech gadgets. All he had to do was dare. I'll say athletically, they the both is even. Okay. I would say they're both both even, to be honest with you. Uh, the way they... Yeah, I, I've read comics, both sides and stuff, so... Um, they're pretty much even. That's why I like him so much. You know, I think I like Nightwing a little bit better just because I like his personality. Um, but yeah, he's got a lot more gadgets than Daredevil has. Daredevil hasn't had nearly as many because um, he relies a lot on his uh, radar sense and his extra senses and stuff. But um, yeah, it could have went either way. I'm just saying, Nightwing always wins, man. Goodness Lord, but um, yeah, it could have went either way. I'm not even mad about this, to be honest with you. It just seems like sometimes, because Daredevil, um, I don't know. Sometimes it just seems like his ex, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't. But if it came down to Dick finding out that, oh my God, some kind of um, electrical uh, pulse is being generated from his head or helmet, maybe I can disrupt that with sound waves. Then, yeah, he would have got the upper hand on him. I mean, um, I think uh, Bullseye did that to Daredevil before. Anyway, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Fight was kind of short. They seem kind of short nowadays. But I know it takes a lot to film these things, so I, that was that was pretty cool. Can't wait to the next one, or at least the next one that I want to see. Anyway, that's my reaction. Like the video, like the video. Leave some comments. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think Daredevil would have lost? I mean, I can see some instances where Daredevil could have won too, but whatever. Let me know. Leave some comments below. See you next time.